What's up, uh, Atomin here. Today I'm showing you guys how you can not lose your phone by installing these apps that I'm about to show you onto your device. Let's say it's like precautions in order to not let your phone fall into the wrong hands if you lose it. Because if you lose it, then they end up in the wrong hands. And if they end up in the wrong hands, then they could not give you your phone back. And you can never find them. And then you should have listened to me because that would have been the right thing to do. And your phone would not be lost. So, you wouldn't have lost that much money. Here are a couple apps to show you guys that will help you out. So let's take a look. All right, so here I go. I got the Galaxy Note 2 by T-Mobile. Let's open it up. Here it's not root, so all these apps do not need to be rooted, and you do not need a rooted phone. So let's take a look at the apps. First up, I got Lookout. Now, many of you guys know what Lookout is because it's very popular in the Play Store, but if you don't know what Lookout is, then you're missing out because it's a great app to help protect your phone from getting lost, having viruses, or maybe getting even stolen. So. When you open it up, first thing that's going to do is uh, it's not going to be a few, it's not going to be with this screen. You have to sign up, so it makes you sign up on Lookit account. Once you activate it, you can see here, and you're going to appear on this screen. Once on this screen, you can actually have all the other options, which include here, except for premium. If you want premium, then you have to pay. Uh, it, I believe it's three dollars a month. If you click on the missing device, you can actually locate your device remotely from there. And uh, once you locate it, you can write down the address and go find that house and read and beat the guy up because he stole your phone. So there you go. If you have better protection though, you can actually lock your phone and you can wipe everything on it if you can't find it for some reason. Backup, you can also back up all your information, contacts, photos, or call history, but those are included with premium. And you can also have security to block all threats that are in your phone. That includes apps, files, or just browsing the web. Check it out, look out. Next up I have Where's My Droid. This is great if you lose your phone because it has way more options. Here I go, when you open it up, you have to sign up again because you don't, because you obviously need to. All the following, you can do ring setup. Ring setup is when you lost your phone and you can't find it and you want and your phone's on silent mode and you just want to hear that ring so you can find it. That ringing sound, here it is. You can save it, just send an attention word. Attention word just means send it to, send a text with that and uh, it'll ring when you send it. Going back, you can actually do GPS location. That means you can also locate where your phone is at, going to the website as well, which is where'smydroid.com. Once you go there, you can enable it and you can obviously see where your phone is at. Camera setup, once you do camera setup, you if you enable this feature, you can save it. And what's pretty cool about this is uh, even when you lost your phone and the guy has your phone and the guy's laughing at your face, you can have an option where you can remotely take a picture of the front facing camera or even the back rear camera and it automatically just takes it silently without the guy even knowing it take a picture. Security settings, you can remotely lock your phone, wipe it, or you can have a black and white list in order to see which one which one of your contacts can be looked at. You gotta have a passcode to passcode your to lock your phone. Commander is where you can link your phone up to the internet and you can remotely control your phone from the computer. Check it out, that's Where's My Droid. I have the Pro version, the Pro version includes way more options, uh, so please make sure you get at least just the free version, just make your phone safe and not lose it. Next up I have AVG Antivirus. So if you don't like the others, maybe you'll like this one. This is pretty nice as well, it has the basics. You can scan all your crap on your phone and uh, detect if there's any viruses, malware, all that crap and to stay connected. Anti-theft. That means you can register your account to howtomen at gmail.com. Well, that's mine. You can register your account to your Google account. Once you do that, you can register to Gmail, and it has a device locator. It can locate your device from the website, the option to wipe your phone remotely, as well as wipe data and uh, wipe your SD card. Um, those are the pro features as well, but you only have a couple days to have those pro features. There you go. All right, next up I have got yo. Like got you, like it's gonna get you. Like if you enable it, like it's gonna get you. So you gotta activate it. And once you activate it, you can set up a screen lock. Here's a screen lock. I suggest using the password because it's obviously gonna protect it the best. It says highly protected. So I'm gonna confirm it with how to men as a password. So once the password's set, you can take a picture of your face 
if you type in the password incorrectly. It's gonna take a picture, a silent picture, it doesn't, it doesn't even know this picture's being taken, from the front facing camera, and once it takes a picture, it's gonna send it to your Gmail, and from your Gmail you can see who the guy is, and uh, it actually tells you where the guy, where the picture was taken. It's like a little locator as well. So all these apps include locations. So lock your phone, type in the password. I'm gonna type it wrong, so done. And it's gonna take my picture right there. Took the picture. All right, so now I'm gonna lock it with the right password, because I can. Once I have the right password, I can go in here and see Failed login attempt detected. Click to see who the person was or whatever, and you can see that's me right there. Sweet. Okay, that means and that that sound you heard that means that I actually got an email showing me who tried to attempt to get in. And there you go. You can see that there's an attached picture and there's also a link so you can locate where the picture was taken uh, and, and the accuracy where it is. All right. So uh, let's say your phone or has already been stolen and uh, you came to this video hoping that I would tell you guys how to locate your phone even if you don't have any location or any locator apps on your phone when you've got it. Well, you came to the right spot. So there's an app called Plan B. Once you install Plan B, you can locate your phone automatically without even having it installed in the first place. It's free, don't worry about it, so follow these steps. It's simple. First, you gotta install Plan B to the phone that you're trying to find from the Android Market website, aka the Play Store website. Here, I'll put the link down in the description for you guys. There, click on the link. And then once you're at that website, Plan B will start automatically and it will send your phone's location to your Gmail address. From there, you can locate again after fit. From there, you can see where your phone's at using uh, via Google Maps and it will locate your device automatically. And uh, I even heard that it will even turn on GPS for you, even if the GPS is turned on. So if it turns on GPS, then great, and I heard it's pretty accurate. So uh, check it out, that's plan B. So uh, thank you guys for watching that video, hope you guys liked it, let me go phone. So uh, thank you guys for watching that video, hope you guys liked it, I uh, did it on the review on my Galaxy Note 2. By the way, this is my new uh, primary device. I was going to do a review on it, but then again, I suck at reviewing for specs, like I don't know all that crazy. Uh, hey guys, how's it going here? Today we're reviewing the Galaxy Note 2 uh, by T-Mobile and uh, the creators were Samsung, obviously. Here we are with the Galaxy Note 2 and uh, basically I haven't reviewed it. Uh, I know a lot of you guys have some reviews on this, but I, you know, I was like, hey, what the heck, let's just review it again. Hopefully you guys liked it. If I don't review it, then it's not the same. Anyway, so here it is. You can see the box. It's really nice. You've probably seen it before. Uh, the dimensions, we're going to go over all this so you don't have to read that. Don't read that, please. And uh, let's get right into the box. So they have an opening. We have this to make it fancy. And uh, this is white. Like, this is not even... Okay. Like, this is shiny. That's just... Okay. So here I have a knife. Uh, it's pretty big, so let me just... reviewing it wrong but anyway thank you guys for watching hope you guys like that video uh, good luck for finding your phone if you lost it wish the best for you and uh, Merry Christmas have an early Christmas thank you guys for watching thank you for giving me 8,000 subscribers that's amazing that's a lot of people if you think about it you can't even count to 8,000 it'll probably take a long time so thank you guys for watching and hope you guys like this video please subscribe comment hit me up on Instagram post a lot of pictures up there. I don't know, it's just not even pictures of Android, but you know, no. But I'll post pictures of Android still. So thank you guys for watching, hope you guys liked it. Comment in the comment section below if you haven't already. Uh, tell me what you think of this video. Tell me if you're gonna find your device, if you're gonna protect your phone to the fullest. And tell me what app you're gonna use. Cause I wanna know, I wanna know your feedback. Kapow! See ya. <laughs>